Hi everybody. Uh, this will be a another short video. Um, today's session was considerably longer than yesterday's, um, but that's actually not saying a whole lot. The thing that I, I've kind of realized about kind of what I'm going through is that the, the sickness comes in a certain um, degree of waves. So, during the periods of time maybe where you go like several hours and you're feeling, you know, pretty good, almost like you, you're not sick at all, then all of a sudden it'll start to hit you at different times of day where all of a sudden you're like, it, it's, it's like, oh my god, it's like the, the first day you had it, you know. Um, and so, it's been kind of hard to kind of time when I'm gonna, when I'm feeling good. I, I decided to do this kind of in the, the later afternoon, um, which has been when I've sort of felt my best uh, most days, usually like after the afternoon time for me. So that's why today, so that's why I got my session in, was here a little later in the day. Um, yesterday, I, I just, I could barely get to the apps, the keyboard. It, it was, I, I'd almost considered not filming yesterday. <laughs> Um, it, it was it got it got that bad, but um, fortunately, I think I think if that that was the peak, I'm now sort of over it. So we're now past the peak of this, and now it's just a matter of just riding out the rest of this. Um, I'm basically planning on being quarantined here at home for the next two days at least, probably the next four ish. So. Um, and then I'm hoping after that I'll, I'll be good enough that I can start kind of going about my life again, hopefully. Um, but man, it's, it's rough. And, and the worst part of it actually for me is actually been the brain fog. It's been the, um, the inability to kind of like really concentrate and focus, which I know people talk about a lot and I'm dreading the idea this is going to last for a while. Um, I've already heard and I've already heard the stories of people that got brain fog for, you know, weeks after after COVID, right? You know, um, for potentially long periods of time after that. And so that's the thing that I'm not looking forward to, <laughs> to be honest, um, <clears throat> to have to, you know, put some of these projects on hold to not do my best work, you know, for potentially weeks, maybe months, who knows, at the worst case scenario. Um, that that worries me a little bit. So I'm gonna do everything I can to avoid that, and to kind of get, to kind of avoid getting into that trap. Um, but obviously, you know, you don't really control it in a, in a sense, right? You're sort of victim of however your body responds to these things. Um, but yeah, so doing well. I'm feeling feeling much better. Um, hanging in there. Um, these sessions are not great, and uh, again, I don't think until at least sometime next week will I be back to any kind of regular writing schedule. I think until then it's going to be a little bit intermittent and just getting what I can down and really focusing on just healing up here. Um, yeah, it's not good. It's not. I, I don't like being derailed. <laughs> the funny part, again, of this the whole thing is that I planned in August being my relaxing month, my sort of resting month. And now I've guess I've kind of got some weird like like twist of fate I guess where I sort of got a resting up month, but this is not the kind of way I imagined it would happen. Uh, but yeah, so with that I'll stop rambling here and I will sign off. I'm gonna see you all tomorrow.